हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू दिट चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बोर्स मॉडल ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आटम एंड द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ आटमिक स्पेक्ट्रा इन केस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आटम बाय यूजिंग बोर्स मॉडल लेट्स बिगेन हाइड्रोजन आटम व्हिच कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए न्यूक्लियस इन दैट न्यूक्लियस कंटेनिंग ए प्रोटॉन that proton carrying a positive charge plus e and a single electron of charge minus e which is revolving around the nucleus in a circular orbit having radius r that is the nucleus of that hydrogen atom where plus e in the charge of that uh, proton that present in the nucleus the charge of an electron minus e which is revolving around the nucleus in uh, a circular orbit next we can calculate radius energy and uh, frequency as well as wave number in case of hydrogen atom by taking bohr's model of an atom calculation of radius here two forces are there one is electrostatic force of attraction between the nucleus and the electron another one is centripetal force which required for electron to move in a circular orbit so the electrostatic force of attraction between the nucleus and the electron is given by f of e is equal to constant the product of two charges divided by separation between these two charges 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught e into e divided by r square which is equal to electrostatic force of attraction f of e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught e square divided by r square whereas epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space next another force which one is centripetal force that required for electron to move in a circular orbit which is given by mv square divided by r whereas m mass of an electron v velocity of electron these uh, two forces must be equal at a uh, balancing situation so the electrons revolve around that uh, nucleus in certain permitted orbits as the electrostatic force of attraction f of e between the electron and the nucleus provides the necessary centripetal force f of c to that of electron that's why f of e is equal to f of c f of e 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught e square by r square f of c mv square divided by r so mv square is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught e square divided by r next from bohr's postulate we use bohr's quantization condition as electrons revolving around the nucleus in a certain permitted orbits and these certain permitted orbits are defined by the angular momentum is equal to integral multiple of s by 2 pi so mv r is equal to n s by 2 pi n is an integer so v is equal to n s by 2 pi mr now the value of v is put it in that expression so that expression changes to m in place of v we substitute n s divided by 2 pi mr whole square is equal to that one simplifying that expressions we obtain r is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught n square h square divided by 4 pi square m e square we don't cancel out 4 pi because we know the value of 4 pi epsilon naught that's why we write that expression in terms of 4 pi epsilon naught which is gives the radius of nth allowed orbit why as r is directly proportional to n square as the radius increasing that corresponding to the increase in that of number of uh, cells for n is equal to 1 now put that value so first radius r1 is equal to n is equal to 1 is put it for hydrogen atom these constants are now put it the value of uh, s and the planck's constant next constant of pi mass of electron 9.1 10 to the minus 31 charge of electron all these constants are fitted and finally solving it 
we have r1 is equal to 0 0.53 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter which is equal to 0 0.53 angstrom 1 angstrom is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meter that expression is called the radius of innermost orbit which is the fast orbit and is called Bohr's radius next energy the energy of an revolving area the energy of uh, an electron which revolving around the nucleus is the sum of kinetic energy as well as potential energy kinetic energy is equal to half mv square mv square mv square 1 by 4 pi epsilon h square by r the value of mv square potential energy of electron in that of field of nucleus that is the electrostatic force potential energy is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon e square divided by r the total energy the sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy kinetic energy plus potential energy this is kinetic energy that is potential energy this is the sum total of energy next the value of r is put it and finally we express it in generalized way thus the total energy of hydrogen atom is a negative which varies inversely as the square of principal quantum number that is the generalized equation so the allowed values of energy are called the energy level for that of hydrogen atom now by using that energy expression we can uh, again calculate the frequencies of radiation and wave number frequencies of radiation and wave number let the electrons jump from higher orbit having quantum number n2 to that of lower orbit having quantum number n1 whereas e n1 is the energy corresponding to that of lower energy state e n2 is the energy corresponding to the higher energy states so e n2 and e n1 by using that expression these values are written so energy difference e n2 minus e n1 that one this next a postulate in Bohr's atomic model are the difference in energy in that of emitted radiation is quantized which is some constant into frequency h nu is equal to e n 2 minus e n 1 so difference in energies next in place of nu c by lambda and finally 1 by lambda as a nu bar which is the wave number these factors are a constant which is red bar constant for hydrogen atom and that value is 1.0974 into 10 to power 7 meter inverse by using that uh, equation we can easily say the spectra of uh, spectrum of hydrogen atom is a line structure next explanation of hydro atomic spectra the energy of electron for n station and orbit of hydrogen atom e of n that expression for hydrogen atom the constants are putted as we know the constant of 1 by 4 5 epsilon naught we can transform that into this way and the constant values are putted and solving we obtain that joule now convert that joule to electro volt so 1.6 into 10 to the 9 uh, minus 19 coulomb electronic charge is divided in that of denominator side to obtain that electro volt and the expression for en is equal to minus 13.6 divided by n square electro volt putting n is equal to 1, 2, 3, we get the energies of electrons in various stationary orbits for n is equal to 1, 13.6 electro volt that is called the ground state energy of hydrogen atom, putting n is equal to 2, minus 3.4, n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4, finally n is equal to infinity, energy level minus 0 electro volt. By using these uh, values of energies, we can draw the energy level diagram of hydrogen atom the energy level diagram of that hydrogen atom in 1 2 3 up to infinity energy is in terms of electro volt minus 13.6 up to 0 these are the series we obtain in case of hydrogen atom Lyman series, Balmer series, Pascal series, Bracket series and Fifan series and when transition occurs so the radiations are emitted that type of radiation we see in ultraviolet region visible region infrared region these were also in that of infrared region 
as n increases the energy of stationary states increases and when n is equal to infinity the energy e is equal to 0 electrovolt n is equal to infinity that energy is 0 electrovolt your electrons no longer remains bound in that of nucleus so that type of electron we call as free electrons in this way we explain the spectral series of hydrogen atom by using bohr schwarzschild model so here uh, with the help of this video lecture we understand the concept of uh, bohr's model of hydrogen atom how electron revolve in that of uh, hydrogen atom calculation of radius two forces electrostatic force centripetal force these two are equal from bohr's postulate quantization condition is used angular momentum is equal to integral multiple of s by 2 pi so the value of v now put it in that of expression and we evaluate the expression for that of radius of nth allowed orbit for n is equal to 1 then for hydrogen atom this constant value has put it and that uh, r1 is called the bohr's radius next expression for energy at the total energy due to kinetic energy as well as potential energy so the total energy expression e n that one next frequencies of radiation and wave number Bohr's postulate h nu is equal to difference in their energy levels so nu bar wave number in terms of that constant and the atomic spectra in case of hydrogen atom now explained by using Bohr's theory of hydrogen atom general expression for energy level en for one two three up to infinity number of cells these are the corresponding energies possessed by these cells by using that uh, energy level we show the energy level diagram for particular hydrogen atom and it is clear the atomic spectra of hydrogen atom is e easily explained by using the Bohr's atomic model so with this useful and intimate we notes let me wind up this session thank you